Hi friends, welcome back to Arkle SQL and PL SQL group. So today we are going to see the interview questions that are asked in RBS company, Reserve Bank of Scotland. So it's a very good company, friends. Recently, my friend he got selected for Arkle PL SQL developer position and he shared his experience with me. So I have gathered the questions from him and listed out all those things here. So let us get started discussing all those things. So there were only two rounds. So we'll see both the round questions. So in first round, the first question they asked is, what is index and how it helps in improving performance? Type of indexes. What is materialized view? So friends, materialized view. When you say when you talk about materialized view, materialized view is a table that exists permanently in the database. Uh, if you ask me the differences between normal view and materialized view, normal view is a virtual table. It will not be stored in database. But materialized view is a copy of main table. It will be stored permanently in the database. So we can perform DML operations on normal views in certain conditions, but we cannot perform DML operations on materialized view table. But whenever the table is updated the materialized view will be automatically updated by using refreshing techniques so while creating materialized view if you give on commit then the refreshing operations will be performed automatically if you won't give on commit then there are few techniques to refresh the materialized view and the main purpose that we are going for normal view is that for providing the security but the main purpose we are going for materialized view is that for providing the better performance so friends these are the several differences between normal view and materialized view so the definition of materialized view is that it is a copy of main table that exists permanently in the database like a normal table so the next question is what is the concept of sql loader so here the main purpose of sql loader is to extract the data from a normal excel word or any kind of document into database that means this is to load the data from a excel word or any kind of document to database say for example i am having uh, 10 10 records in my excel file i wanted to store all those 10 records directly into my database table then i can use sql loader so the next question is what is the difference between procedure and function so function must return a value whereas procedure may or may not return a value function always return a single value whereas procedure may or may not return multiple values that means procedure can return multiple values by using out parameter but function will return by using return keyword we must have return keyword inside a function but we will not have return keyword in procedure that means it is not mandatory to have return keyword in procedure if you use return keyword the procedure will be automatically terminated terminated and uh, uh, it will be returned to calling environment so the another difference is we can use sql functions in sql statements but we cannot use procedure in sql select statement but we can use functions in sql select statement and we have pre-compile execution plan for procedure but we don't have any pre-compile execution plan for normal functions so these are the several differences between procedure and function so the next question is whether procedure returns values how so yes procedure can return values by using out parameter we have three parameters in uh procedure that is in out and the last one is in out so by using out and in out we can return the values to the calling environment so the next question that is seventh one is what are the packages and advantages of creating a package so package is like a schema object that is a group of procedures function cursors and different type of variables and constant in the database in package we have two types package specification and package body in package specification we will be declaring uh, whatever the variables constants that are required for that particular package and in package body that means in package definition part we will be grouping sql uh, sorry pl sql and sql procedures and functions inside the package body so when you talk about the advantages of creating package it's like a, creating a package is nothing like a creating an application in oracle database so the advantages are reusability maintainability integrity and also security are the different type of advantages that are available for plsql packages so the next eighth question is what is sequence so sequence is used to generate a sequence number in oracle database tables 
so the next one is can we use is open attribute for implicit cursor yes actually we have four types of uh, attributes for implicit cursors so they have asked me explain sorry they have asked my friend about explain attributes of cursors so we have four types is open row count uh, is open row count and two more are there friends uh is open the next one is row count and other two i did not remember exactly uh found and not found yes first one is is open next one is row count and the uh, next two are found and not found so totally we have four attributes for implicit cursor so the next question is how to handle the raw transaction data by using trick we can we can handle those things and all so the next 11th question is what are triggers explain a situation where you have used dml trigger so friends uh, when you say dml trigger so whenever you insert update or delete operations occurs in the database the dml trigger will be automatically fired so whatever the uh, trigger we are going to create on a database table or view is called as dml trigger here this is a very important point friends if you are creating a trigger on database table or view it will be called as a dml trigger in case if you are going to create it on system that means uh, database or system then it will be called as a system level triggers so this is the trigger and this are the situations where we can use the dml triggers and the next question 11 uh, after 11 12th one in a partition table if a value greater than the defined range in inserted then whether value is inserted or not definitely not friends so the next question is what is the process in which range is implemented in production environment so if you are working in production environment this is easy to answer so this these 13 questions are asked in first round of interview so my friend he well answered all these questions and he got cleared the first round and then he entered into second round so in second round they have asked only few questions friends so the first one is explain how the change in implemented in production and the next one is explain sql loader in detail what are files are involved so sql loader as we discussed sql loader is to load the data from a normal file to database so you have to explain in depth and what are the files involved here you have to explain so my friend is explained like in sql loader if you wanted to load the data from a normal file to database table the structure of those two should be similar then only we can perform the loading operation from a normal file to database table that means say for example i am taking excel to database table so in excel we will be having rows and columns sorry rows and columns like a cells so the first cell whatever is containing in first cell that will come for first column in database table whatever is contained in second second cell so that will come under database table column 2 so that means when i am saying about when i am talking about this uh, excel cell so we will be having a b c d like this uh, we will be having different columns and 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this we will be having different rows in excel so those will be considered as a database column and rows in database table so and then different files dat file dat bat dat dat file dot cat file cat dot obj object file these are the several files that are involved here so this is how he explained and the interviewer was very well satisfied so the third question is what is the difference between sql loader and external table have you fixed any code issues in production environment actually he my friend he worked on many production issues so he explained two of them and the interviewer is got satisfied and he got selected finally my friend got selected into this rbs company now he is currently working in chennai location so friends these are the several interview questions that are asked in sql plsql interview for rbs company so friends please subscribe to my channel for further videos on sql interview and plsql interview questions thank you friends thank you for watching my video have a nice one